Hey, how's it going guys? JC here and today we have a match against Singe with Courage and Ghost. OP.GG Runes and Mastery should be on screen right about now. I am going to watch my lane minions and I want to walk with them just so that I don't get a proxy by Singed. It will be very important if we do that since he's running teleport. If he's running ignite then he'll try to kill us and all we have to do is just play a little safer and just not get hit by his poisons but every time he flings us we just spin out of the poison he'll run up he'll run out of mana before he can kill us. So we want to just be cheeky and maybe just do really short trades but not get hit by his poison damage or try to avoid it as much as possible. So we'll see what happens. I haven't faced many Singe players either just because he's kind of a rare pick but he's starting to resurface because he got a bunch of buffs. I think he has a W buff that makes it so that you'll be grounded and you can't use your E out of his W anymore and also I think his passive also gives him a move speed boost and it boosts up to like 430 for no reason. I'm not sure why it boosts it or how it works but it just does. I'm actually not sure why he's standing there either. I thought he would want to push. Is he AFK? Okay he's not AFK. He's just standing still. That's very strange plays by him. So maybe we can take use that to our advantage. So there's his random move speed boost. I should be getting 3 hits off but instead I only got 2 because he got a random speed boost. It's, I'm not sure how it works. I think every time he poisons someone... I think every time he poisons someone, he gets a speed boost. So I have to be careful of that. Because he can randomly just ghost at me without even using ghost. Kind of OP, I think. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, this is a 3 minute mark. I'm going to just push out and then leave. I can 1v1 Warwick if he comes. But yeah, otherwise I want to take out this blast cone here. So that's our next objective. Take this out. And then just put a ward here. We should be good to go. But we have to be careful because we can run into lane really fast if we're low health. So we'll make sure that we don't get too low health. And that's what Doran's shield's good for. Is It'll make it impossible for Singe to kill us with the amount of mana he has as long as we don't stand inside his poison. Once I hit level 4, I want to start doing short trades with him. And if he flings me, that's awesome, because then he'll go out of mana. So every time he flings me, it's a good thing. All I have to do is just back off and then restart again. Okay, if he does that and just runs away from me, that's fine. But otherwise, I can take pot shots like this. So yeah. Very nice. And right now... We can freeze it like this, and if he comes, then we can try to fight him. So let's see what happens. Damn, I missed that CS for that auto. Okay, he's kind of covering himself up with that poison, so I can't really fight him without taking a lot of damage. I'm just really thinning out because he's hard shoving into my tower. Okay, very nice. We got him. But yeah, I wouldn't say that this plan is foolproof, just because if he was running Ignite, might have been a different story. And he might have played a lot differently. Say he might have been trying to shove me in the whole time. So it all depends, really. But definitely, if he's running Teleport, walk with your minions to lane if you can. If you can't, then you'll probably get proxied, and then you just have to see us under tower. Which is not really fun, so I do recommend that if you're not comfortable against Singed, if you're not, ah, okay, that's kind of annoying. But yeah, if you're not comfortable versing Singe, just take teleport every time and go to your map build. That way, no matter what he does, and no matter if he's going TP or ignite, you can just. So yeah, if he flings me, just auto and spin out of his poison. Always throw that auto and spin just so that you do some, you know, you trade back a little bit, so you don't actually get chunked for absolutely free. So he's gonna start proxying. That's fine. We can we can easily survive. Oh, okay, he wants to gank. That's also fine. You should clone yourself. Yeah, this singed um so you can go very interesting. Which I guess is good and bad, but hopefully we'll have more singed videos in the future and that you guys can learn from it. But for now, just basically you can take value from the things I'm saying about Singe because I'm trying to cover it in general. 
whether he's going ignite or teleport and if he was a better player or not uh, you would probably be really good to just go for the TP build <clears throat> that way you'd have Tiamat and then you'll always be able to shove him out if he proxies you like like really hardcore proxy like over here between between inhib tower and tier 2 you can basically do the same thing well not the same thing but you can proxy him as well with Tiamat and then you'll have a pretty easy time because once you proxy then you can rotate to mid and then you can gank then after that the next wave will come over here and then you'll you'll be able to have plenty of time to make it back that's what I'm trying to say and if you're running TP that's even easier you can even recall buy items and then TP back so yeah with Tiamat there's a lot more room for breathing room but you'll probably getting you'll probably be getting shoved in really early on just because he will have say ignite if he runs ignite and you don't want to mess with him although you still can it's just that actually yeah you can because you'll you'll grab a Doran shield and he won't be able to get you low enough to kill you with ignite anyways because as long as you don't stand inside his poison and you the only damage you take is from fling you'll be completely fine but yeah he wants to proxy so I'm just standing here and then he can't really do anything about it he wants to walk past so yeah he can't do it What? I hate it when they die prematurely. That cannon though. Oh, what the heck. Singe is so fat. I actually ordered him instead of the CS. Oh, he wants to proxy here. Yeah. Can't really do much about it. But yeah, if Graves wants to go and kill him, that's perfectly fine by me. Although I don't know why Graves is still level 5. That's kind of a worry. That means he hasn't been farming properly. If Singe proxies, then I can pretty much proxy as well. It's just that it's a lot easier with Tiamat. Tiamat I will get at 1200 gold, which is equivalent to zeal cost. There's kind of OP OP like that. I think he's gonna proxy this one. I might be able to kill him. Oh, he's not? Interesting. If he's not, then I just push this out. The annoying thing about Singe is even though you kill him, he's still going to keep trying to proxy, so he's always going to push your lane. It's annoying, just so that you don't have as much time to rotate as, say, regular champions that you kill. Yeah, if I was to spin on him, he'll probably fling me into towers, not worth. And if he's good, he can put the Mega Adhesive mega adhesive here and then basically I can't spin out of it so that would be very bad news if I get hit by that anyways we're gonna get some boots and then we'll head back to lane uh, probably not the best back in my opinion now that I think about it but it is going to help us chase him down I think I should have went back when I had enough for shiv so this was not worth losing you know a bunch of minions here Okay, that's fine. If I flash, I won't get enough autos to kill him. Oh, he's really... He's really asking for it. <laughs> I mean, if he really wants to die that badly, then okay. Oh, jeez. Our team's losing. I need to push this out. I can't help them anyways. What I can do is I'll push this out. And then after that, maybe I can get Rift Herald if I take tower. The important thing is I want to take this tower before I can move out. And right now we have 100% kill participation. So... Oh, this is rough. He has teleport, so he's already back to lane. I need some time to go back and buy items, so... I'm hoping that by proxying this, I get enough time. Also, they just had a really big fight, so they won't be able to respond to me just yet. So yeah, he can clear this out, but there's no minion wave to crash into my tower, so I don't lose anything. And I also get my shiv here. I'll pick up a pink ward as well, this is going to help me out. Especially because I want to take tower. So after that, I want to put a ward maybe here or here. Or even in this bush. Take rift herald, and then I need to help my team. So right now my team has zero kills, and I have all three kills on my team. So it means if I wasn't in the picture, it's a 0-7. See, there's like 7 kills on the all, all the other lanes basically won. Ah, okay. It's 
probably killable. Okay, probably not killable. <clears throat> I have to wait for a poison trail. Okay. Go back to lane. So now he has no cooldowns, really. What the hell? He's walking up so far. Alright, at least he came to his senses and backed away. So, I'll push him in. And this is the most I could do, because Cinch is pretty annoying if your whole team's losing and you need to help them. Cinch is actually a really good champion to keep someone in lane, especially if you don't care about dying and you just keep pushing. So, a lot of Cinch players do that. But if you go higher elo, they'll less likely do something like this. They'll probably buy ninja tabbies as well. And yeah, they'll do the same build actually, except maybe three, three dark seals or four dark seals with a ninja tabby. And they might go ignite. They'll play a lot differently as well. I think I faced like one other Cinch player in higher elo. And yeah, I went tier mark build, so it wasn't much to showcase there. Wow, he's taking so much damage. Damn, I didn't have Ignite to finish him. And my static shift didn't crit or it would have killed him. That was close. But yeah, this guy's not paying attention. So I guess that's good for me. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, Warwick is down there, so he can't stop me from diving singed. Oh, interesting. He flung me that way. I'm gonna kill that guy. Plus, I'm a Terminator. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing, but it's okay. We need every advantage we can get because we're going to lose at this rate. Since our team's doing absolutely nothing but feeding at the moment. Okay, so now that we push that out, pop a potion because we're going for Rift Herald. We need to take this so that we can help bot lane. And the earlier we help them, the better. Hopefully around 15 minute mark we can reach bot lane and help them. Any later than that and it's pretty much game. So we can't afford to let it get any... Like, we can't afford to take any longer to go down there. Because they're about to lose another tower. Oh, Ari got really low. Okay. Alright, now we head back, we head down to bot lane, and then we try to help them there. Uh, have Rift Herald push as a... <clears throat> If Ari gets baited in, I can help them out. That's why I'm standing back. But otherwise, we just push this out. Oh wait, actually, yeah, yeah, Jin can go mid. Actually, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I just realized that there's so many people mid. Um, yeah, so... I got this. Okay, that's fine. Because they're all mid, that's why I'm pinging them back. But before that, I thought they were going to defend bot lane, so that's why I pinged them to come and help take this tower. But since everyone's gone... I can take it myself. Actually, this Rift Tower is going to get me two towers. So it's going to net me a lot of value. Oh, that really hit me. Stop whining. To be oh, rip. Or not to be. Damn, did I misplay that not somehow? I think I might have Q-healed a bit too early. But then she did have Ignite on me, so maybe not. I think I'm dead either way. But I did have to ult there because I don't know how much damage she had. But she did have a lot of damage since she's 5 and 1. Or 5 and 0 oh before I killed her. So, uh, it's decent. I think I can return here and take this tower out. It's really low. So, that's something we can do later. I'm also going to work towards this. I'm going to work towards a Bork. Only reason I bought BF Saw is because I have just enough. Like, it was a perfect amount. So, I thought I'd just pick that up. But yeah, I probably could have played that better. I could have killed her without dying. I don't know where I went wrong, but I went wrong somewhere. 
I think it was something to do with basically taking too much damage and then when she committed that's when I fought her. Maybe I should have just fought her right away. But then again, she did use her ult and that's the only reason I went in is because she used her ult charge. If Twitch goes back, uh, he's not gonna... It's, I only hesitate because I don't have ult, but I probably should have went in. I'm not sure actually. I feel like I might have died if I went in. That's the thing. Is, you know, their whole team's pretty strong. But I am three levels ahead. I'm just not sure if there was anyone that was near Twitch. It wasn't likely though, after seeing it. In hindsight, now that I think about it, probably not. Probably could have got a kill. But yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Okay, that's awesome that my team's... Oh, nice. Nice, that's pretty awesome. Holy crap. I'm going to take this tower. It'll be a trade top for bot tower. I think it's fine. Well, at least one of my teammates is going to defend it anyways. So this actually works out. And now we can rotate. Now we have a lot of control in terms of bot side. And bot side was losing really badly. That's why I want them to leave lane. Because if they stayed in lane, they're going get, to keep getting shoved and they're going to keep feeding. So in order to stop your bot lane from feeding or dying over and over and just straight up losing the game is just to go down there with Rift Herald. And that's problem solved. So yeah, now we can get mid tower. Oh damn, okay. Yeah, Twitch was there as well. Didn't look like I was going to get a kill. I want to start pushing top lane now because uh, it doesn't look very safe to push bot in hip at the moment. It's a bit too early for that. At least I feel. Although because they're all here. Mm. Oh. Snap. Okay, Warwick's jungle's already taken. I might be able to push bot lane in. Okay, spin away before the fear goes off. What? Oh my god. I was pressing my R and E at the same time. Oh. I hate it when that happens. I press E and R thinking that my ignite will finish off and then I'll ult and run away. But that Ari actually bursted me when she flashed over. Oh wait, she dashed over. Damn. That was a bit more damage than I expected. My bad on that one. But yeah, hopefully that one mistake didn't cost us the game because that's going to be really sad if they die after this. So I'm just praying that they don't die because that's completely my fault. And if we lose the game off of that, then, um, then you know, I'll accept it because I made a really big mistake there by dying for free. But I honestly thought I could have got the kill there and got out alive. So I, that was a misplay. Oh, thank goodness that um, it's not uh, like a one-sided stomp, so that's good. I'm guessing because I did blow a bunch of cooldowns, like right as I died, the second I died, Warwick did use his ult, and then Ari also used his ult on me, or used her ult on me. So I'd like to say that because those cooldowns were down, it made it a lot easier for my team to fight that. Imagine if Ari had ult up, and also Warwick had ult up, might have been a way different fight. Hmm, okay. Ah, oh, that tornado just missed. Oh, wow. I thought my E would get him, but he went really fast. He, he like, dashed to Twitch. Hmm, rip. Would have been a kill. I have to back away because Ari's gonna charm me soon. But yeah, at least I pressured Warwick. And then I was also making my way bot anyways. Hills. Just a little shortcut. Okay, gonna keep pushing this out. It's 
someone should come for me though. I feel like someone should come and stop me. Okay, so Warwick came. You should clone yourself. Why is that? I ulted way too early. Fuck yourself. I need to make sure I don't ult too early or too late. But I just get nervous when an enemy team's really fed that I feel like I sometimes need to ult a little earlier. Just so that I can overcompensate. Just like how just then when Ari killed me, she was just really fed. So she managed to kill me a lot faster than I expected or what I'm used to. Oh, why, is, why are they pinging me? I got a free in him. <clears throat> and I killed Warwick. I'm guessing that Corky thinks they killed Warwick and Ari, and then I, all I did was get inhib. Which is still really good. Getting inhib is really, really good. Regardless. But it is lower elo, so they might have a different thing. They might have a different thought pattern, so they might think that I did really bad by basically them dying in a fight. But yeah, now I can push out top lane. And once I do, I'll push out mid lane as well, and we get a lot of pressure on Baron. So yeah, once I push top lane out, Baron is, like, we have so much vision on the map, that would make it a lot easier to get Baron. So yeah, whenever they start it, I can just head over. Yeah, this Baron looks like it's ours. Really nice. It's really good that our team managed to get back into the game, but mainly because I ended their laning phase at bot lane. So that's the important thing is you just go down there and end the laning phase. That's probably what basically got us back into the game, is me doing that. But not so much the play where I died for... Oh my god, okay. Where I died to Ari twice, that's not very good. Oh my god, not again. I'm pretty sure she has ult, so there's no point in me going on her. The only way I can fight her is if I get a catch on her. Otherwise, I'm just going to rotate and take this. Oh, wait. Okay, Singe is TPing. Ah, damn. I already blocked it. I can go back to top. And take top tower. That way, it's going to pressure the crap out of them. Like, all three lanes are pressured. Now, I should have warded before I made my way top. I'm going to do that really quick. You can actually do this. And you'll still get decent vision. Not great, but it's basically the best thing I can ask for. Don't bullshit me. Oh my god, that charm. Oh. Damn. Uh, that, that was bad of me. That was really bad. I do apologize for playing really bad this game, I'm sorry. But I think it's still enough to win. It's still enough, it just... This game is forgiving enough. Uh, thankfully, like, thank goodness to my team, this game is not going to, like, just completely go south because, say, if they didn't come back, if they just kept feeding and dying over and over, me making a bunch of mistakes like this means game's over. So, yeah, don't make the mistakes I made, and the mistakes I made could easily be corrected as well. So, that's the thing is, I still have a lot to learn, and... I do have to say I am very rusty because I've been playing a lot of RuneScape lately. It's actually a lot of fun, quite addictive, so I do blame that for me being super rusty this game. And also rusty in League of Legends in general, so hopefully you guys can look through, look past the monkey plays and, and forgive me for the sins I've committed for not playing League enough lately. Oh my god, she's just going to stay alive. Yeah. There was no guarantee. I think he has Rylize. Yeah, he does have Rylize. There was no guarantee that I could spin in and kill with the slow. You can definitely walk up and take this tower though. 
Jesus. That's a lot of damage from Twitch. Oh, hard shove bot lane in. I need someone to respond bot. If they keep pushing mid, we might lose. They have to respond to me. I'm actually going to walk in. Okay, yeah. I can't stay. I don't have ult. And if I die, it's pretty much game over. So we'll go back and defend. Unless they stop pushing. If they stop pushing, then... Nah, never mind. There's too many people at bot side. I'll head straight to red. Just in case that Twitch greets for red. We might be to, we might be to, we might be able to get a kill. Okay, I'm going to push out top and hopefully I can get this tower. Yeah, Singe is taking towers as well. Or well, he's trying to split bot. Yeah, Ari's 8 and 3, so she's super fed. Wow, there's a Twitch over there as well. I can rotate mid then. Or maybe I can catch one off guard. If one of them walks through here. Or they're gonna keep pushing top. Singe is coming for me, but I think he might be alone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's alone. Okay, he's not even coming. Crush your enemies. Nice, we finally got See it. Them driven before you. It's about time. Of your women. I want these minions to arrive so I can come and take tower. This is really huge. We killed Ari and that's basically her whole team. The whole team is Ari. So the fact that we killed her is really, really good. Unfortunate that our team died for it. Well, she they didn't die for it, but they just simply died outright. Okay, that's a lot of cooldowns. Thanks to Essence Reaver, I should be able to get away. Man, I had to flash there. Warwick is so mobile. Oh my. That was close. But yeah, Warwick is super mobile. Jesus. I knew that I had to go over this wall. If I went back, then Cinch would just take... Will basically just stop me and stop me from moving forever. Oh, Jesus. That chase, though. Thank goodness for Essence Reaver. 40% cooldown reduction. The only reason I could get away. They took Baron so fast. Um, there's no fighting that one. But when we push this out, they have to deal with me. So that way they don't end the game. What the heck? I'm gonna take bot, bot inhib and then I'm going to take mid. There's no way of me getting... Why did they just all die? That's so annoying. I guess I made too many mistakes this game. Oh, this is close. Uh, that's really bad that our whole team just died and fought there. If anyone survived, it would have been huge, but it's... I guess it's the best we could hope for since my whole team died and then my whole team basically their whole team grouped and stopped me so yeah <clears throat> yeah there was no grouping there just because after Baron Janna just got caught out and there was no team fight it's just basically they had to run but instead my team just stayed and fought That Singe was so underfed at one point. Hmm. 
Oh, uh, the graves is 0 and 8. Man, a bunch of monkey mistakes that we made really did cost the game. This game might be really tough. Warwick is really... Stop whining! <laughs> okay, nice. We got a double there. That's really important. But if Ari kills me, the game's over. I can't let Ari kill me, so I have to be careful where she is. She's the only one that basically has a lot of potential to kill me. Okay, she killed Janna. And Janna's just like feeding. The Graves and Janna's doing really poorly in terms of, you know, getting caught out a lot. So that kind of closes the map for bot side. Since I have no vision all the way here. So if I was to hide here or just keep pushing, I would get caught out and die. But if Janna was alive and warding here, um, then I would be good to go. So it just depends if she died or not. Maybe Ari would face check. You know, you never know. Oh, nope. Damn, Singe is backing him. Singe is backing her up. Corky comes. Okay, never mind. If that first bullet misses, it's over. In terms of chasing Singed. I need to kill Twitch though. Twitch is the main target to focus. Ari's dead, we should fight. We get a free catch on Ari, we should be fighting. Oh wow, I survived that, holy crap. And we got a kill on Twitch. I'm going to split out into mid lane, because there's nothing else I can do, I basically used up everything I can. Uh, holy crap, that was a good Janna ult, I think, maybe. I was just staring at my ult and seeing like how long I had left before I had to Q heal. Oh, okay, we can cut him off. Stop being such a pussy! That was pretty worth actually. Nice, we got him. I don't know why Corky is blaming me. I was actually walking towards them the whole time. Like, right away from the start. So, it's, uh, I don't know, this Corky is kind of annoying, but oh well. Can't do much about it. It is lower elo, so they tend to kind of misinterpret things. Oh, that's a free, that's a, such a free kill. Wow, that Twitch just threw the game. Jesus. Luxuries of low elo, guys. This game is such a loss, like, the fact that I played so badly, this game was guaranteed a loss, but it's like so back and forth just because it's lower elo. Because it's like, plat or gold or plat elo. I need to check. It's a free elder. Yeah, Singe can't make it over, he doesn't have flash. Very nice. We have so much gold. What the heck? Something stopped me. Might have been Ari. Or maybe Rakan. Based on that damage, I think it's Rakan Q. Okay, so since we have Merc Treads, I'm going to go for the Red Pot. Elixir of Wrath, and that's going to help us out a lot in terms of lifesteal and damage. I mean, we could always use more damage, I guess. It's not like it's going to make too much of a difference if I double stack Tenacity. So I want to push out mid. And then after that, I want to get bot in hip as well. That way we'll have some forward pressure. So I'm going to go and push out bot lane. Oh, Baron's in 17. This is so risky. But I think Cinch might be coming down here. 
I'm going to just take... I'm going to take Inhib and go straight to Baron. It's going to force someone to come. Okay, nice. Whoa, that creep block, though. Okay. Nice. That's perfect. That fling. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. But it's okay. I got all their cooldowns. We got Baron. That is so worth. I forced their team to basically just split up into two. So I think that was actually a really good play. GG. Well, I managed to completely split up their entire team. And Ari is basically their entire team, really. So the fact that I got Ari here, I got a kill, and I wasted all her cooldowns, flash and ignite. Yeah, she basically has nothing left. She has no ult, she has no flash ignite. And she used all of that to kill me. So I'd say that play at the very end was really good on my end. Or how it turned out was really good. But also, I think the idea behind it always works. Because someone has to defend if someone walks into your inhib, you want to defend it. So you want to send one person. But sending one person wasn't enough because I was strong enough. So it actually worked out. They had to send two. And it wasn't great that I died, but at least I did get a kill for it. And it kept them there for a very long time. Because I managed to survive Ari until we had to use, until she had to use both Flash and Ignite. So worked out pretty well. I mean, that's basically the idea of the Singe matchup. Not so much that player was great or anything, but I don't know. I'll just give it to Jin. I'm not sure who did well. But yeah, GG well played. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. And I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.